All right, guys. So I just went to watch Knox Hill's breakdown of that Pete and Boss song we were just looking at. And he played, I think, a clip of this video here. And so I said, you know what? I want to react to that freaking song. Okay. The beat was going crazy. It looked like he's, you know, giving the business to a corrupt politician. You guys know. I'm all for that. Let's go ahead and check this out, y'all. Hopefully, this is the right one that I just saw a clip of because I want to do a reaction to that. <laughs> okay? Let's see what we got here. Well, who is this guy? Bad boy back with the backpack rap. Hit the tap, 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 out back. Who's that? Lamac, like a Mac. Five drums on the pad. I'm a child of the boom bap. Some call that trunk trap. When the bass go boom, off the bat, hot tune. I soon to the moon. You know what I love about Knox Hill? Not a hundred percent, but most of the time, you can hear every single word. Okay. Man, so many artists and everything else you can barely understand a word they're saying and i get it a lot of people have different accents and especially with someone like sia where her main priority is about delivering emotion behind the words and so for that you know she has to like bend and twist and you know push her words in a certain way to elevate the emotion right so then when you're really want to analyze her music until you've gotten used to it you really need the lyrics in order to understand anything at all and you know even for a lot of rappers like a lot of them have really strong accents like Ren which Ren is usually quite understandable as well so yeah but I, I want to know who is doing the feature here this is called Wow. Lock me in a room. I phone in a loop. I won't interview. I hate reading the news and what's clicking. Don't tell me what I'm missing. I am out here living. Every other headline, line heads get triggered. I don't know what team to pick. Pickled in the middle. You want beef? It jumped over the moon. I got the fiddle sorting through the hieroglyphics with my MPK. Got Marshall in my ears like I'm MTK. You squares keep it moving. I'm an MC. Swag. Give me five fingers. Okay. Bringing the wave like M's tapes. Sit down. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this is the video I wanted to see. This was the clip that he showed in the video I was just checking out. Who's the feature on this? Okay, Square Sun Studios. Now, if you guys remember on the last one we did of, of Knox Hill, I think if I remember right, it's been a little bit, if I remember right, at the end, it said Square Sun Studios. I could be thinking about something totally different. But I think that was a Knox Hill video. And it said that at the end. And I was wondering, like, did he make his own studio? Was this his studio? What is this? So, apparently, this guy that he's doing the feature with, apparently, that is Square Sun Studios. Because it says, always a pleasure working with you, Knox. Excited to see, and then it, it goes on after that. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. Okay. So then is he a beat maker? Is he a rapper? Or is he like do pretty much everything? I don't know yet. Like wow, how we do it like that? Like wow, how we do it like that? Like wow, how we do it like that? Like wow, better sit your ass down. How we do it like that? Like wow. How we do it like that? Giving out my blood, watching Uncle Sam pull. My type be making O's, still alone like a grand full of money in the bag. Got a grip like a handful. I remember the days my haters had me cash so low. I'm the man, let your man know. Did it at my pace. Tell mama we can dance slow. Never did the ice or the spice. Watch the plants hold. Labels fake the odd. Quick throw it in the van go. Cut your hair off, clear off. Looking in the mirror. Michelangelo, I've been a ninja. He ya. You don't want it like me. He don't want it like me. I'm like Bruce with the punch. Now they want to spike me. Better do the right thing. Why you only type thing while they tighten up your wings? Stay free. I got a buzz like a minor. With oh, like Bruce Lee with the punch? Was that the reference? I think it was. 
Because I was wondering at first, like, what's he talking about? Bruce with the punch. He gotta be talking about Bruce Lee with the one inch punch. He don't want it like me. I'm like Bruce with the punch. Now they want to spike me. Better do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. Type thing while they tighten up your don't know anything about Spike Lee. Y'all gotta clue me in. Stay free. Stay free. I got a buzz like a minor with the plug. Body count like I'm purdy with the drugs. It's the head, man. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit down. I'm like, wow. How we do it like that? Like, wow. How we do it like that? Like, wow. How we do it like that? Like, wow. Better sit your ass down. How we do it like that? Like, wow. But how we do it like that? So who was the guy that they had telling him to sit down? Who was that? I thought that was like a politician they were going after. You know, Knox Hill does leave quite a bit to the imagination. You know, I think he wants us to like think about it and try and like put the pieces together and see like, you know, what does this mean? What does that mean? And that's as far as I could think is, you know, is Knox Hill and this other guy. They're painters, right? Because that's what they're doing. They're, they're making paintings of WoW. And so maybe this guy was like a banker or something and wanted to make them an offer or something and, you know, just wanted to rip them off. Maybe that's what was going on. Or maybe it's about taxes. That would make more sense with the song. Because he was talking about Uncle Sam. Okay. So maybe like Knox Hill wants to sell those paintings. And Uncle Sam is saying, well, you're going to have to pay a sales tax on that. And it's going to be substantial. So maybe that's what's going on. Alright guys, you know, this was such an interesting video, and I'm definitely going to be watching a lot of reactions to this thing, okay? You know, I got to see how other people are going to analyze this video. This was amazing. Absolutely loved it. You know, I love that a lot of it is kind of open to interpretation, because the video itself wasn't very clear about what was going on. So, alright, that's it for now, y'all.